Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number one of the MPL, the minor Pokemon League. Now this is going to be a really interesting concept. So we are only allowed to pick from Pokemon that were not chosen from the major Pokemon League. So it was a really interesting draft. It was a points based draft. We can have up to 11 Pokemon, but eight minimum. So I don't usually do this, but because it is week one and because this is a pretty unusual recording style, um, we did unfortunately disconnect during the match. So Rogue ended up recreating the match for us, but because of that i'm gonna and take some time show off my team i really do like my team we got the mega pidgeot round one we got the needle king rebombi some web support I really do think that combination is going to be huge. I love Zygarde as well when we do have a little bit of a Sun Core there. And overall, I really like my team. Basically, I used up all my points and we should theoretically be getting more points as the season progresses. But at the same time, I do want to show off his team just to show off what I'm up against. He did scoop up the Mega Gyarados with the round one pick, but I was very upset. He took Araquanid from me in round two. And uh, I, I genuinely almost one picked Araquanid. I was really desperate to use it. I've been wanting to use Araquanid for a very long time. I really, really like it just conceptually. And I really got excited about it. I almost scooped it up round one. Uh, I ended up going with Pidgeot instead. I almost scooped it around two, but I decided Nido King would be more important. And in between the two of them, Araquanid was the one more likely to fall to round three. So I tried to wait for it and it didn't end up working out. So that was super unfortunate. I'm gonna have to face Araquanid round one, but it is what it is. He has a really interesting team, a lot of threats, a lot of really interesting Pokemon. But with that, uh, let's just get into this match. Um, if I remember correctly i think i just wanted to lead off with my pidgeot to start off i don't quite recall um what exactly he let off with but my thinking here is i just want to get off early damage um oh yeah no that's right so i i was kind of oh no i let off with a new king okay so my thinking here was that the Nido King really threatened his team quite a bit, and I struggled with what to do round one up against Araquanid because I really didn't want it to get webs up. I could spin them away later on, possibly, but I, my main priority was to get damage off on this thing. If it's going to get up webs, I don't want them to get it up for free. I just wanted to punish this thing trying to get up webs. So I ended up get, getting a lot of damage off with a Thunderbolt, and so much so that I can threaten it out with my incoming Pidgeot which does let me get this Mega Evolution off. I did fully expect this Aggron to come in, but I don't know. I didn't pull the trigger. I didn't go for U-turn or anything like that. I didn't, I don't know, man. It, it felt too risky to me. I really should have. I should have pulled that trigger, but I did end up getting the 30% confusion. It's fine. It really doesn't end up mattering. I do end up going into Jellicent here as I believe he just sets up rocks, but uh, this Jellicent's at least going to be able to tank hits from this thing, and I think I'll be relatively fine, although, I don't know, I'm, this matchup is still really interesting. I, I really do like the fact that I was able to prevent him from getting rock, um, web stuff for free, but I think I might have given up too much in this situation. In any case, I knew he wasn't going to stay in. I ended up going for the Toxic, which uh, I, I missed here. I think this is a recreation issue because I do believe that I landed this Toxic. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I didn't. But regardless, um, he just ends up going for Sticky Web. I couldn't do anything about that, unfortunately. I really couldn't. In any case, he is going to get up the webs. And in my mind, I'm thinking that I just have to find some way to be able to uh, spin them away. My Torkoal is relatively safe. I have a very specially defensive Torkoal, and Torkoal has so much uh, natural defense that I'm pretty positive at this point that I'm going to be able to get them away, and I think I'll be relatively fine. Um, and regardless, my Pidgeot is not going to be affected by the webs right away, and if he tries to threaten me with the Gyarados, then I do have Hidden Power Electric specifically for it. But the uh, uh, Gyarados comes in right now, and he ends up setting up a Substitute, which was pretty much worst case scenario. At this point, I'm at a loss for what to do right now. I expected him to go for the Dragon Dance turn one. If anything, I expected this thing to be uh, Z-Fly uh, in the beginning, but I don't know. At this point, I'm just trying to break the sub. I'm just trying to give up the dragon dances right now so that i'll i'll be able to hit it back up against uh, uh when it's not behind a sub but 
It's going to be really tricky for those Jellicent to actually break the sub. I didn't realize until after I'd already fired off the first Scald that two Scalds don't take out this sub, and I had to find that out the hard way, but uh, Ice Beam does a little bit more, but even Ice Beam is a little bit iffy to take it out with two Ice Beams on the sub, and he sets up the sub again, and at this point, I'm kind of panicking. At this point, I, in all honesty, I think that this thing just wrecks my entire team. I don't quite know what to do here. Nothing comes in safely, and even if it does come in safely, he outspeeds my entire team, no questions asked, and uh, I'm in trouble. I really honestly don't know what to do up against this thing. Um, this thing can just freely set up uh, substitutes again and again and again. And like I said, uh, this thing's fast enough now where it just outspeeds my entire team. Eventually, he does take out my Jellison, so and there's the start of uh, whatever's about to happen. And I believe I go out into Torkoal here, if I remember right. Um, I don't even expect like Torkoal to do anything against this thing. Um, but I do get the uh, I do get the webs on me, and I take a lot from that dang um, from that dang rocks. But he just ends up going for another waterfall. We take it. I go for rocks. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe this is a recreation thing. I don't quite remember. I I don't know. Either one of two things happened. Either I just gave up at this point because, honestly, this Gyarados destroys my team. Or this was a recreation issue. In either case, it honestly doesn't matter. Because uh, what ends up happening is this Gyarados never leaves the field. It claims every KO that it possibly needs. And, um... That's honestly going to be how the season starts. It's going to be pretty darn unfortunate, but uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, um, I really kind of overlooked Gyarados just in general, but I'm not too, too sure what I could have done. I mean, realistically, okay, what I should have done was on the first Dragon Dance, or no, on the turn that I went to take his sub, I should have switched out into something maybe switch into Zep Strika, Volt Switch out, and then start threatening, maybe give something up, go into Torkoal, possibly give that up, but start threatening it out in that way. But as soon as I stayed in with Jellison and gave it that first sub and Dragon Dance for free, then it was pretty much over. And this was a mistake that I'd already made once before when I was playing against um, Papa C in back at the PGL. I had my free marina uh, uh, in front of a Fraligator, and for whatever reason, I knew as soon as I clicked the move to stay in with my pre marina that uh, the play was always to go out into my electrode because my electrode outspeeds uh, even a plus one for alligator. And uh, it's just those types of things that didn't exactly click into my mind in that moment in the middle of the match. But that's going to end up being how this match ends. And it was super unfortunate. I do think that I can come back definitely, but uh, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be an interesting season. I do, like I said, I do really like my team. I think that I can build better with it, definitely, definitely, definitely. But uh, it's just gonna be a matter of actually putting those pieces together and allowing those things to click in my head when they actually happen but with that that's going to be week one thank you guys so much for watching we'll be back really really soon tomorrow we'll have a new pgbl match up against visual live we will have a new saffron battle network match and really really soon we'll have ubl matches as well as more weeks of the mpl and probably some other interesting things um but with that once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll be once again out